Hello. In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to scrape data from one website and use it as an input for another website. At Parsub, we normally recommend you to build separate projects for each website, but in some cases, you might need to combine two different websites into one project. To begin, open the Parsub client, click on New Project, and enter the URL of the website that you would like to scrape. For this example, I've already searched for the keyword shoes on Amazon and copied the resulting URL. Click on Start Project on this URL. Once the page loads, you will see three areas within the Parsub client. The left side contains the project structure and settings. The middle contains an interactive view of the website. And the bottom section allows you to preview your data in either CSV or JSON formats. An empty selection command should already be placed in your command structure for you. If this is not the case, click on the plus sign next to Select Page and choose a select command. Using the select command, click on the title of the first product. You can see that Parsub is selecting the product name in green and highlighting similar elements in yellow. To select the rest of the product names, click on one of the products highlighted in yellow. Parsehub will automatically extract the name and URL of these products, but if you are not interested in the URL, you can click on the X next to the extraction command. You can also rename the selection by double-clicking on the command, and for this example, I will rename it Amazon product. If you encounter a product name that is not selected, you can click on the product name while having the select command selected. This will tell Parsub to include this product in your selection. To extract the prices of each product, we are going to use the relative select command to relate each price to its corresponding product in our results file. Click on the plus sign next to select Amazon product and choose a relative select command. All of the product's names will now be highlighted in orange. Click on one of these highlights and this will give us an arrow that we can use to relate each product with their price. If you notice that Parsehub is not highlighting the entire price of the product when you hover over it, you can zoom out on the selection to capture the entire price. Hold the Command key on Mac or the Control key on PC and hit the 1 key to zoom out. Keep hitting 1 until the entire price is selected and then click on the price of the product while keeping command or control held down. Parcel will automatically select and extract the prices of each product. I will also rename this selection to Amazon price. To use these search results in an eBay search, we will need to use a new template since eBay has a completely different HTML structure than Amazon. To do this, we are going to click on the plus sign next to Select Page, click Advanced, and then choose a Go To Template command. A pop-up will appear asking you which URL and template to go to. In Go To URL, we are going to enter www.ebay.com in single quotation marks. and we are also going to create a new template. For this example, I'm going to name this template eBay. Now we want Parsub to use the list of product names from Amazon as search terms on eBay. To do this, click on the plus sign next to Select Page, click Advanced, and choose a loop command. For, for each item in, we are going to enter Amazon product, since that was what we named our list that contains the names of each product from Amazon. Next, click on the plus sign next to your loop command, click Advanced, and choose a Begin New Entry command. I will rename this command to start a new entry in eBay products. This will create a list of eBay products once they are extracted. Click on the plus sign next to your newly created command and choose a select command. 
We are going to use this command to select the search bar on eBay so that we can search for each product name that we extracted from Amazon. I will rename the selection search bar. An input command will automatically be generated for you. Change your input type to expression here, and in the box below type in item.name. This refers to each product name in the list of Amazon products that we extracted earlier. We are now going to select the search button to click on it, so click on the plus sign next to begin new entry and choose a select command. Click on the search button to select it and rename this command to search. Switch to browse mode by clicking on the switch located next to the project settings tab and enter one of the product names that we scraped from Amazon into the search bar. This will load results as if we went through our first product name in our list of products from Amazon. Switch back to select mode and click the plus sign next to select search. Choose a click command. The pop-up will ask you if this is the next page button that we are clicking on, to which we can respond no and create a new template. I will name this new template eBay results. We can now follow the same steps that we followed on Amazon to select and extract the product names and prices on eBay. To test run this project and make sure that it is working properly, we can click on Get Data at the bottom of the page and click Test Run. Test runs allow you to run your project locally on your own computer to help you understand how it's behaving. The Step In button will run through your project one step at a time. The Play button will slowly run through your project, allowing you to see what the project is doing. The Fast Forward button allows you to quickly play through your project and see the extracted data. While playing or fast forwarding, you could also pause your test run. If you hit the stop button, the test run will close and you will be returned to the project page. To retrieve your data, click on the Get Data button and then on Run. Your project will begin running on our servers and you can check the status of the run in the box here. When the project has finished running, you can download your results in either CSV or JSON formats. We also have an API that you can use to integrate your data with other applications. In this tutorial, I've shown you how to use extracted results from one e-commerce website as search items on another e-commerce website. If you have any questions about your particular project, you can contact us at hello at parsehub.com. We're always happy to help.